Lower Red Castle Lake where we're going to teach you how to gut a fish. This is on the uh, edge of the Uinta, the Uinta Mountains in Utah, um, right between, right on the edge of Wyoming and Utah. It's about a nine and a half mile hike in, and uh, the fish were biting today on, on spinners of all things. So we were actually able to catch quite a few of them, but these are the couple that we're going to keep and cook tonight for dinner. We're going to show you how to, how to prepare them to eat them after they're dead. First thing you want to do with the fish is check and make sure it's dead. <laughs> if it's not, hit it over the head or something. Um, this is a, a rainbow trout. It might be a cutthroat, but I'm, we're pretty sure it's a rainbow because there's no red marks underneath it here. First thing you do is you find the find the vent or the anus right here. A little red spot. If you squeeze it, some poop will come out. Don't wash that out. We don't want to eat that. But you take your, your little knife and you Start at that spot and cut all the way up to the head. If you open it up, those are all the entrails that we got to get rid of. Since we're in bear country, we're not going to leave these in the water. We're going to take them and throw them away or throw them in the fire to burn them up. Once you reach in and pull all this stuff out, rinse your hand off as you go. You want to get everything up to the head, and then you can actually take the head off too. You cut right behind the head. Be careful not to cut onto your fingers. Keep your hand clear. Grab the head, and you can pop the whole thing off with what's what's left there. Or you can even do that and pull most of the guts out with it at the same time. Those are the parts we aren't going to eat. And then right along the spine, there's a big blood blood vessel right there. You're going to stick your thumb into that and push all the blood out of it until that's gone. Take that fish and rinse it out really good. You see all that blood's gone from up there now. We'll rinse it out some more. And that one's ready to be cooked. We'll put some oil and some uh, some Cabela's tequila lime salt on it. Wrap it in tin foil and put it in the fire after we've got some good coals going. Let's cook it for about 25 minutes. Peel the skin off and peel the pull the meat out of the bones and going to be ready to go. But uh, it's always nice when you can get in this far and actually catch some fish and catch some that are big enough to eat. If they're smaller than this, um, usually if they're like six or seven inches or smaller, the bones are really hard to take out. So you end up eating some of the bones when you're, when you're trying to eat those. But when they get to be, you know, nine, ten, eleven inches like these fish are, the bones are big enough to pull out of the meat. And that makes it a little more enjoyable where you're not fighting with every bone that's in there. But, uh, thanks for joining us. And, uh, have a, have a good time fishing.